Budgetary expenditure report of funds allocated for welfare of hill districts in Manipur for past 10 years from financial year 2011-2012 to 2020-2021 released today. Raw water of Thaubal Dam successfully diverted to Jinkai Ching water treatment plant at Yaral Part in Imphal's district to supply water to Imphal city and greater Imphal area. World Maite Council and Sedu Tribe Demand Committee demand state government to send recommendation for enlisting Maite Maite community in nasty list before in enforcement of election code of conduct. Health Director Dr. K. Raju says recent widespread COVID-19 like illness detected among children in Churchanpur district is caused by respiratory syncytial virus, not by coronavirus. Manipur reports 53 new COVID-19 cases, 54 recoveries and one death in past 24 hours. COVID positivity rate stands at 2.89%. India adds 16,156 fresh COVID-19 cases, 17,095 recoveries and 585 deaths in 24 hours. Recovery rate stands at 98.20%. And six zero survey conducted in Delhi says above 90% of those who receive full doses of COVID vaccination develop antibodies for coronavirus. Hello and welcome to Impact News. You're watching Prime Time English Bulletin. I'm Ibetoy Tokchom. To stay protected from coronavirus, wash your hands frequently, wear your face mask properly, and maintain a safe distance. Now the news in details. Budgetary expenditure report of funds allocated for the welfare of hill districts in Manipur for the past 10 years from financial year 2011-2012 to 2020-2021 was released today. A committee formed by the government on August 25th prepared a report based on information submitted by departments and information of overall expenditure from the Accountant General and budgetary figures with Finance Department. Committee team led by Committee Chairman come Additional Chief Secretary Travel Affairs and Hills Lekhogen Haukip, Co-Chairman Additional Chief Secretary RDNPR M. H. Khan and member come Special Secretary Tribal Affairs and Hill C. Erta released the report at the conference hall of all Secretariat. The committee, upon examining all available information, concluded that fund flow to the hills as a percentage of the total development expenditure of the state shows a fluctuating trend from 2012 to 13 but shows a general increasing trend from 2017-18 while the last two financial years 2019-20 and 2020-21 show substantial increase in absolute figures and in percentage of fund flow. Speaking on the occasion, Special Secretary T.A. and Hill C. Arthur said the budgetary expenditure report was released following fake reports on social media that funds meant for Hill areas are being misappropriated. He said that the report will be submitted to Chief Minister and relevant authorities. He added that as per the report, there is fluctuation in the funds meant for Hills. Percentage of Hill expenditure against total fund for 2011-12 was 38.92%. For 2015-16, it was 31.19% or and for 2020 it was 45.75%. State government and committee amount of constitute of given 25th August. Previous 10 years ki budgetary expenditure analyzed down number ki, especially hill districts the budgetary flow se kya mukla ibano hai na. Ado ek hoy committee na reports examine taur ka conclude taur hai. Ado ka analysis yeng bhama tam da hill districts the fund flow se fluctuation taur bolay. 11, 12 ta for example 38.92 percent lay ramme. Do 15, 16 damo ka taur ka 31.19 hoye. However, previous two years ta ek hoy na yeng bada 19, 20 ka 2021 da extremely high expenditure lay ramme. 43.76 percent. Ado ka 40 
35.75 percent. Ado ga mashi ki expenditure like when ye ingwa matamda, especially departments like tribal affairs and hills, PWD, planning, PHED, RDPR, especially rural road development agency. Chiram da ki expenditure in the hill districts was very high. Ado gine koi expenditure hoje ga almost 45 percent and across the overseas previous year ki data. Water Resources Department Government of Manipur has successfully diverted raw water of the Thobal Dam to Chinkajing Water Treatment Plant at Yaral Pad in Imphalis District. The water treatment plant aims to provide 10 million gallons of water per day to supply to Imphal City and Greater Imphal areas. Impact News Source had said the raw water was diverted from Thobal Dam to the water treatment plant, a distance of 16.4 kilometers passing through Nafo. Laikoiching and Sanjainbam village. The water pipe passes two underground tunnels and a steel bridge of 180 meter length. It is worth mentioning that the project was carried out under the central funding of AIBP PMKSY at a cost of more than 280 crore rupees. World Mitre Council has demanded Manipur government to send recommendation to Center for Enlisting Mitre Mitre Community in the SD list of the Indian Constitution before the enforcement of Court of Conduct for upcoming State General Election 2022. Speaking to media at Manipur Press Club today, WMC Chairman Haigruzam Nabashyam expressed apprehension that Mita Mita community will have no land to reside in near future if not accorded the AST status. He condemned the state government for failing to send recommendation till date owing to pressure by some vested organizations having no idea about the urgency of the situation. ตุงตะไลบิชาจิกิลลัมบีเซอะคุณมุทะลัมดอรีบะเนี่ยบะไอ้ไอ้กิซอกรีกวนนะบ่นะบะไอ้ไอ้กิขุดงซาบะคะน
Recent widespread COVID-19 like illness detected among children in Churchanpur district has been confirmed to be caused by respiratory syncytial virus RSV and not by coronavirus. The same was announced by Health Director Dr. K. Raju during a press briefing held at the boardroom of Directorate of Health Services today. He said that experts team of the health department investigated the outbreak and came to know that airborne RSV causes similar symptoms of fever, cold and respiratory problems similar to COVID-19. Dr. Razo said 13 samples had been sent to Pune for testing and results have confirmed that 12 are RSV cases and the 13th case was meta-pneumonia. He added that among the samples, two have found to be COVID-19 positive and one eight have been found positive for dengue and scrub typhus as well. He appealed to parents and elder members of family not to expose little children to cold bridge. IDSP ki team yau na ekoi mayon chase message ekoi na test ki da mukta sample tara hum doi phat select ho NIB Pune da thaje tara ni thoi mana RSV virus sai na respiratory syncytial virus sai na virus mana na batra thoi di lung sada so ko virus ni adu amna meta pneumonia virus ate ate si da ekoi na test ho matam da mu je covid ki test loi ta thoi ba adu covid ti ani khatam ko asdi koi ko Kobiti matang ini nato mlo bibia, mani purgi praja singda koi na hanim basi, ta angang sing sia, maram sada na mapanda, nung sita nung sada, singda manda, mogu kutok pida ba, angang si, lumbu lumbu sana tambi ba, mosi korna bahares kumbani, hai tayo ko, bahares maklam ni, masi mi ahan sing dagi su angang dasa turok pia, adun ahan sing sida adun maksa dum hapi ba. Responding to impact news query regarding future health-related risks for COVID-recovered people, Health Director Dr. K. Razo said there is risks of lungs, kidney and liver infection post-COVID recovery. He advised COVID-recovered people to go for routine consultation with doctors. He mentioned that the health department has opened post-COVID clinic at RIMS, Chenims and district hospitals. Dr. K. Raju also stressed the need to eat nutritious and balanced diet to boost immune system. ฮาร์โบรซิสอวิยาคิดนิสอวิยาลิเวอร์สอวิยาไอ้พวกนั้นที่ตัววิยาเป็นเฉพาะจีดัชนีดิสิกดิสิกตัวสุขังเองอันน
Pabung Ibrahima Memorial Trust organized a memorial event at Kwaketelakam Lekai Community Hall in Imphal. Taking part in the event, Memorial Trust member as well as president of All Manipur United Club organization Nando Luang opined that the present generation needs to follow the footsteps of late Ibrahima who played a major role in uplifting the society, especially empowering of women section and striving jointly for bringing a good governance in the state. Leaders of various civil society organizations paid floral tributes to the portrait of Tonauzam Ibrahima at the event. Lomi si missing git hawa kana wana ramba, no pi singi pipam pagana wana ramba, or pi na ibi riba punai, the hingiba, miam gi punsi, mahinsi, awa mataka pukana wana ba, adumba, lenga pushing the swear padagi, miam na awa banangi berse, masi miam hum na tinga gadem na hibo wakalunda, a koi pabung iba, ma togerem matabo gado, na sigi miron de hingiba ikoina, madu kudung ilaga, towa masi, a koi matu tai hibo wakalula chida, he and a mapung wajaga koi pabung iba magi, ning ting toro masi, pabung iba ma memorial trustna, say he kudingi a koi lipna. Speaking on the occasion, Amuko President P.H. Nando appealed to all the intending candidates for the upcoming general election 2022 not to use electorates as a tool to win votes. He urged both voters and candidates to organize election related activities in a peaceful manner. Covid Koi election da, koi ki miam si candidate singna kari gumba mom da sinar kani. Miam na su lay tamani hamen madagi. Kada kada ki woi na magi lay talay singi pukana bukana bata. Koi magi thang woi da bukong thang thang ba. Tawo woi da thabak kaya tawo na crime kaya mat thola kani. Marum dona. Koi Manipur da election ki mai le na ba thabak da crime thok dona ba. Koi candidate singna su wana biu. Border woi ba isa isa na su koi wana minasi Manipur ing tapalam da mama woi minasi. Koi election ki da magda khana chay na ba law na ba phatte. Adu ka candidate singna su magko ki sakhi phang na ba ki da magda. Samjagra Praja Singh Bumma Khoi Ki Khula Ayo Ina Si Nabigi No Madhu Tung Lam Chakki Puwari Na Adukumba Miwe Singh Adukumba Kendidya Singh Adu Kaidungwe Singh Ngak Piroy Grazing Ground Protection Committee has opposed to encroachment of the grazing ground in Moirang Kuno Village Speaking to media at Moirang Kuno Makhalekai today Committee General Secretary El Mohen alleged that some people are trying to give away portion of the ground for the construction of an ecotourism park. He said the committee was formed to conserve the ground and want of legal actions against those who try to give away even a bit of the area. Manipur men ke ekoi ke eco tourism park amas hana bagi damuta ekoi na ground na cik kan na bagi damuta kan na konjang cengseli matung da hai riba nong na siam na riba kamiti esi na ekoi ke point nipu mangate ke na point yang kai ke point ama pitok re masiki dam masiki damuta ekoi masiki asik mula be briefing ase ya abang am jaroi hai dina protection moyang kuna grazing ground protection kamiti na legal ke thakta angam ba thakta ekoi kona dina hana ke kan moyang kuna ke area ipai puna thambiram malam ase adu mak hana leng dana lai na bagi damuta ekoi Mati cawa Manipur Gomen, amat di Mati cawa lagi election sing tanah jaga. Hanya lagi pipa masih kaya dengan orang itu tak tahu kongjang cing cing jadi ni. Lomi Sinmi Apun Balub Laushal Manipur has condemned political parties for breaking their promises to bring welfare for farmers community and for failing to live up to the election manifestos. Speaking to media at Manipur Press Club today, Laushal President M. Churamani appealed to Manipur government to provide good quality local rice for integrated child development scheme and midday meal. He urged the government to appoint a commissioner for agriculture producers to address the grievances of local farmers. Churamani also appealed to construct proper irrigation canals in consultation with farmers and to revive Manipur Land Use Board. All Manipur Hill District's Contract Basis Teachers Welfare Association 2006 has urged Manipur government to regularize teachers working on contract basis in Hill Districts. Speaking to media at Manipur Press Club today, Association spokesperson K. Haukip said the government recruited 1,332 teachers on contract basis in 2006, complying to Atsum's demand. He said that around 630 teachers on contract basis have been recently verified. He further stressed that contract basis teachers in the hills are having a tough time as they have not received remuneration amount of rupees 4000 since 2008.
we ask the government of Manipur and especially to the fraternity of the Ford Estate to help us in our plight, to the ones who have been exploited, to, have, to the ones who have, in spite of fulfillment of all the criteria, in spite of being taken on merit basis, in spite of being like called many times for physical verifications, we were made to submit our original documents in the education department, deposit the same, then why isn't we given our due deserve? District Magistrate of Imphal West District T.H. Kiran Kumar has notified all licensed arms holders in Imphal West District to deposit their firearms at the police station concerned at the earliest in the interest of maintaining law and order in view of the upcoming state general election 2022. All related services of arms license except renewal service will be put on hold in the district until further notice or completion of election process. Failure to erase the culprits who assaulted her son at Hayrok recently. It may be mentioned that Ramananda is undergoing treatment at Ras Medicity ICU ward after he was assaulted allegedly by Roman and his siblings from Hayrok Part 2. Speaking to media at Manipur Press Club today, Tilotama said Roman's family attacked her son with a spade. She said after the incident on October 25, Enrich's people stormed towards Roman residence and burned down some items but not their house. Alleging that Roman has been accused of various crimes on earlier occasion, she demanded to expel him from Hayrok village. Man, a jum may tire is here, can you mum the jum may tag if you out them of a yesida? Pazanas, how rock pedigi, possay credition talk and a tie I die. A do Makai jum mum tahayang, but my arm the lark, look at so young, we don't make jum swap polite. A do sarcas and a gassi, me she will hot letter with me as you can see powder, habit of the tamnissi. Marble was in the tamnissi, Karimaram, you know, I marble with the atom of Matamda. Manipur reported 53 new confirmed cases of COVID-19 out of 1,829 samples tested in the last 24 hours. Today's COVID positivity rate stands at 2.89%. As per the latest report from State Health Department and COVID-19 Command Control Room, total confirmed cases of COVID-19 in Manipur have reached 1,22,526. Active cases are 842. One COVID-19 patient from Imphal East District died in the past 24 hours. That toll has reached 1,918. On the positive note, 54 recoveries were reported in the past 24 hours, raising the total recovered cases to 1,20,766. Manipur's recovery rate stands at 97.77%. Manager of Women Helpline State Social Welfare Department has informed the public to contact mobile number 700-577-6144 for women-related issues. Press release from the department says the Women Helpline toll-free number 181 is currently not working due to technical snack. Now it's time for a small commercial break. After the break, we bring you updates on coronavirus cases in India and the world. Keep watching Impact News. Hospitality Training Institute Hotel Imphal by the classic third floor, North AOC Imphal. Admission open for free skill training program sponsored by Manipur Urban Development Agency, Muda. Job roles, duration and eligibility. Food preparation and culinary arts, 6 months, 10 pass and above age 18 to 28 years. Housekeeping attendant, manual cleaning, 3 months, 10 pass and above age 18 to 28 years. Documents required, photocopies of the following document, Aadhaar card, PAN or voter ID, bank account, passport qualification certificate, OBC, STST certificate if any, residential certificate. For more details, please contact 0385242. One double five six nine zero nine three five eight six eight five.
Welcome back. After the break, you're watching Primetime English Bulletin. India added 16,156 fresh COVID-19 cases, 17,095 recoveries and 733 deaths in the past 24 hours. As per the latest report of Union Ministry of Health and Family Welfare, India's COVID-19 active cases have dropped to 1,60,989. Total recovered cases have reached 3 crore 36,14,434 and recovery rate stands at 98.20 percent. Death toll has reached 4,56,386, over 104 crore 4 lakh 99,000 people have been administered COVID-19 vaccine in India so far. Globally, coronavirus has infected above 24 crore 59 lakh 47,000 people. Above 49 lakh 91,000 people have died. Recoveries are above 22 crore 28 lakh 97,000. USA has the highest active cases of above 93 lakh 58,000 in the world, followed by India and Brazil. As per 6 zero survey conducted at National Capital, more than 90% of people in Delhi who have received full doses of COVID vaccine have developed antibodies for coronavirus. The zero positivity rate in every district of Delhi is more than 85%. More women were found zero positive as compared to men. The sample collection under the 6 zero survey started on September 24. A total of 28,000 samples were collected from all the 280 wards. Meanwhile, physical classes will resume from November 1 in Delhi. Experts suggested that no parent will be forced to send their children to school. All schools will have to ensure their classes take place in hybrid mode with max of 50% strength in classrooms. Schools have to ensure that all the staffs, whether teaching or non-teaching, have received at least one dose of the vaccine against COVID-19, adding the second dose should be administered as soon as possible. 41 new COVID-19 positive cases were reported in Delhi yesterday and there are no death cases. Currently, Delhi COVID positivity rate is 0.08%. Monetary help has been pouring in for 23-year-old ailing Moirang Tim Suraj, a resident of Kakching Wairi, following Impact News report on the plights of poverty-stricken Suraj. Members of different groups and individuals have turned up at Jenim's Hospital where Suraj is undergoing treatment and extended financial help. It, it, it may be mentioned that intending candidate of Wangkem Eshi, Kangabam Jadumani, along with Mating Pangshi Group, with contributions from the public, extended 35,400 to him. Meanwhile, social media influencer RK Ichantoibi has raised 15,000 through a fund drive and handed over to Suraj's sister Seema. The Good Samaritan said they helped to save a precious human life. Hariba Nabasi, I'm not waiting, I see I walk all day, I'm not filled away. I don't know, human disservice, I want to touch upon a magna outside the support, Madame Diana, Mesero Logan, Haki Magi, and Nabasi, Fanabitum, as over the Luja, Mani Putale, but Praza, Saxon Kodimak Diana Tamjeri, I guess I think I'm Zaba, human disservice, Amuna, later Lara Madi, Sumba, Anna, Layang, the Hagna, Missan, or Sataza, and Eduna, I keep Susan Hing Makai, Sumba, later Larazing, Adegitola Tarabasing, Sotarabasing, the Aegis, I think I'm Zaba, I Matin Bangla Sagan. Mahatan, I see the gear, Hugi, Magi, the Mutta Fund Drive, see Matin Pansi Group, now left. Tourism Minister Oinam Lukhoi inaugurated an ecotourism park at Mayang Imphal Kukchai in Mayang Imphal Assembly constituency today. The ecotourism park was constructed under the supervision of Mayang Imphal constituency MLA Kam Deputy Speaker of Manipur Legislative Assembly Kongkam Robindro. Tourism Director W. E. Bohol, President of BJP Mayang Imphal Mandal Rabbi, attended the event. Agriculture Minister Oinam Lukhoi appealed to people to vote for candidates who will join in government formation instead of opposition to bring one's constitution forward and development. 
was speaking during one day political conference held at Nongada Kaming Pay Ground organized by BJP Lamlai Mandal today. Lukhoi highlighted the developments brought by BJP since its inception of its governance. He expressed firm belief that BJP will win majority in the upcoming election. He appealed to people to vote for BJP instead of wasting their voting franchise at other political parties. BJP ministers, MLAs and others were present at the event attended by more than 5,000 people. BJP National Executive Member Sumitra Lalu has stressed on role of women in bringing a new BJP government in the state. She was speaking at the one day Mahila Shamelan at Kakchin Kunau Community Hall organized by BJP Suknu Mandal Mahila Mocha today. President of BJP Manipur Pradesh Mahila Mocha El Lotika, President of BJP Kakchin District Mahila Mocha KH Birla, and others attended the event. BJP Kakchin Mandal kicked off Tambal campaign at Ringban in Kakchin. Kakching constituency today. Speaking at the event, Kakching MLA M. Rameshwar highlighted the welfare schemes of the BJP led government. Sri Narendra Modi Jina, Pairiba, Bharat Sarkargi, Fajar Fajaraba, Development Scheme, Sri N. Biren Singna, Pairiba, Fajar Fajaraba, Development Scheme Singna, Si, Kakching Kendragi Praja Singh, Mahon the Yonanaba, Ayanga. Lemhori ba tha mari asi dasu kan hone zagani aduga matangi sahi manga asi karimba praja na aibu praja ki mihut hoy na happy ragadi ehang na kaching kendra si mani pordat na thana bar ki mafong kudi mukta mamin lebo kendra mo hoyngani. Eight election offices of Tim Nisikant were opened at Kesamtong Irom Pukri Mapal today. A public meeting was also held at Kesamtong Irom Pukri Mapal Community Hall. Speaking on the occasion, intending candidate of Kesamtong Assembly Constituency Nisikant Sapam said his first initiative, if elected as people's representative, will be to provide safe drinking water to every household of the constituency. Free and fair election campaign was launched at different locations of Sugnu Assembly constituency today. Youth Upliftment Forum Kakchin Kunau launched a campaign in collaboration with local clubs of Sugnu constituency with the aim for conduction of general election 2022 to 12th Manipur Legislative Assembly under the guidelines laid down by the ECI. The campaign was carried out at Kakchin Kunau, Wangu and Pangal Tabi areas. The Manipur Hill Journalist Union condoles the sudden demise of senior photojournalist Mahong Sureshim. He served as a senior photojournalist of Nagaland based daily newspaper T. D. Morung Express. MHJU also shares the grief of the bereaved family. Janata Dal Secular has condoled the demise of Janata Dal Secular working president Manihar Goswami. Former founder and director of National Youth Project New Delhi, S.N. Subarao, passed away due to an illness at the hospital of Jaipur yesterday. He was 92. He organized various youth camps in Manipur and helped youths in taking part at international youth camps. Members of National Youth Project Manipur State Council and Ekta Parish in Manipur have condoled his demise and observed two-minute silence as a mark of respect to the departed soul. Kada Unit Social Youth Organization and Sanjimbam Apumba Maira Pai Bilup organized an awareness program on ill effects of intoxicants at Nongchup Sanjimbam Community Hall today. Resource persons spoke on the topic at the event. 
Jabez Prayer Team Ministry organized for this Able Gospel Day on Let's Bring Unto the Lord team at Sandra Chingkong today. Differently abled persons from across the state took part in the event. Speaking on the occasion, Evangelist M. Punsi said suicide is prevalent among differently abled persons due to mental health issues. He said the event aimed to facilitate in attending peace, peaceful mind with peaceful coexistence. Renowned singer Mandakini Takalambam, church leaders and people of various communities took part in the event. Now the sports news. Youth Affairs and Sports Department Government of Manipur will kick off six-month regular coaching center for athletes at Kumal Lampak Sports Complex from November this year. The decision came in wake of approval to begin training at Kumal Lampak Sports Complex after a long gap due to COVID-19 pandemic. YAS Department is all set to carry out the activities of Kelo India Center of Excellence in morning and afternoon. Speaking to media, YAS Director T. Fillin said that the department has been carrying out such coaching to nurture world-class sports persons since Manipur hosted the fifth national games in 1999. He also mentioned that officials of YAS department has carried out tree plantation at Kumalam Park Sports Complex to benefit sports person under the banner of Evergreen Northeast India. Na trial lamat tau raga, datagi selection tau gay. Football as well as atop atop discipline, pami bel jawi raga di, koi gi form hujah hujah thari November gi kena datagi koi football gi di trial selection semi kara yamna lak panina trial lamat tau raga, datagi selection tau gi, hidupna plan tau ri, ana RCC da koi gi sports loving keno or guardian sing koi sports punung si biba meam sing na RCC da angang sing thabi rau koi systematic nai na pas na ozan nai raga tak pi bni, ana sedagi koi gi Manipur gi India gi as well as Future Olympians, future medalists, put up on the Koigi public key as well as a quite dedicated coaches. May I'm gee, Matin Sengi. 56 Junior National Gymnastic Championship will be held under the aegis of Gymnastic Federation of India at Jammu's new Gymnastic Hall, Amy Stadium, from November 22 to 26. Selection trial for Manipur team will be held under the aegis of All Manipur Gymnastic Association at the indoor hall of Kumal Lampak Sports Complex on October 30 from 7 a.m. For more information, interested gymnasts may contact All Manipur Gymnastic Association. Chikli Lilong Chajing defeated Pamyal Patsoi 6 2 in the 13th league match of the 21st S. Birendra Memorial Super Division Football League today. The tournament kicked off under the aegis of Imphal West District Football Association at Lilong Chajing Playground on April 10 with the participation of six teams. In today's match, played at Palm Yal Playground in Pachoy Part 2, Oprem Chan netted three goals at 33rd, 36th and 73rd minutes and N. Mahechan also netted three goals at 35th, 38th and 79 minutes for the winners. For the losing team, K. Rajkumar scored one goal at 40th minute and the Blue Dravid netted one goal at 72nd minute. SKYC Awang Sikmai will face YWL Langtabal in the 14th league match tomorrow. Non-residential regular football coaching of TH Birachandra Singh Football Academy, Tabungko will resume from November 1 at TBSFA Sports Complex, Tabungko. Dynamic Boys Kakching Kuno organized a marathon on Run for Unity team at Kakching Kuno today. 24 marathoners competed in the race. Sugnu constituency intending candidate M. Binol flag of the race from Kakching Kuno Bazaar. They crossed Kakching Kuno and concluded at Kakching Kuno High School. M. Milan Kumar, K.H. Obin and M. Dinku were the top three winners and seven runners were awarded with consolation prize. Dear viewers, Impact News will begin new schedule from this Saturday, October 30, 2021. You can now watch Impact Hell Link every Saturday live at 3 p.m. Impact Talk to Manipur every Tuesday live at 3 p.m. CND Challengers and Defender 
every Monday, Wednesday and Friday at 3 p.m. Afternoon Manipuri News every day at 2 p.m. Evening Manipuri News every day at 4 p.m. Manu Hutna every day at 5 p.m. English Primetime Bulletin every day at 7 p.m. And Manipuri Primetime Bulletin every day at 8 p.m. Before we end, let's take a look at the headlines once again. Budgetary expenditure report of funds allocated for welfare of hill districts in Manipur for past 10 years from financial year 2011-12 till 2020-21 released today. Raw water of Thaubal Dam successfully diverted to Jinkaiching Water Treatment Plant at Yaral Pad in Impala's district to supply water to Impal City and Greater Impal areas. World Mitre Council and Settled Tribe Demand Committee demand state government to send recommendations for enlisting Mitre Mitre community in ST list before enforcement of election code of conduct. Health Director Dr. K. Razu says recent widespread COVID-19 like illness detected among children in Chorchanpur district is caused by respiratory syncytial virus, not by coronavirus. Manipur reports 53 new COVID-19 cases, 54 recoveries and one death in past 24 hours. COVID positivity rate stands at 2.89%. India adds 16,156 fresh COVID-19 cases, 17,095 recoveries and 585 deaths in 24 hours. Recovery rate stands at 98.20%. And 6-0 survey conducted in Delhi says above 90% of those who received full doses of COVID vaccination developed antibodies for coronavirus. That's all we have in this bulletin. Thank you for being with us. Coming up next is Primetime Manipuri Bulletin. For more news, you can also follow Impact TV on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram and YouTube. Have a great evening and stay safe. Sky Hospital, the first heart hospital of Manipur, Rims Road, Imphal West. Chief Cardiologist, Amadi Chairman, Sky Hospital, Dr. Shah.